What's happening, people? Brother Brian's in the garage. Man, I figured I'd make you guys a video. I've been doing these things kind of organically, man. Uh, it's like when I feel like talking, or I feel like making a video, I do it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, so I feel like making a video. Kind of, I was wanting to tell you a story. And I forgot to tell you the story, but I was sitting there thinking, I was watching some uh, other YouTube videos just now, and I said, you know what, man, I'm going to tell my people about something I find kind of uh, humorous with my age, man. I'm 50 years old. I know I look older, man. But that is such is life, man. I've lived a lot of life, <laughs> you know. Got the fans blowing. It's like a hundred degrees out here in the garage. You know, got got me some tea. So, let me tell you my story, man. I've got a few things on my mind I'd like to talk about. I don't really know. I kind of got an idea where I want to start, but I don't know where this is going. But I figured, you know, let's just flow. Let's do this thing organically and see where it takes us. So, let me tell you my story. I was on vacation last week, okay? I needed a week off of work, man. So I just stayed at home and did some fishing and did some things around the garage. Enjoyed my stereo equipment, man. I did some painting, and as you can see. But uh, this funny thing happened, man. I've got this... My boss at work, man. My new job's a little more challenging, right? I'm expected to do more. Kind of um, do a lot more troubleshooting and figure things out more, which I enjoy, man. I really enjoy that. Being an actual machinist by trade, you know, I've been doing this my whole life. My stepdad, he did it and retired from a machine shop. He worked on, like, manual grinders, man. He had these giant grinders, man, and he used to grind things like the Blanchards and the OD grinders, man. And I got into a shop back in the early 90s, and it was all manual machines. And I've always enjoyed it, man. I've always found enjoyment in making things, man. Like, it's a, it's a challenge. My job's continuously a challenge, man. It seems like, you know, the older I get, with the way the world's changing, people change, you know, I guess I'm getting older. I feel like I threaten, I, I threaten people more. My presence does. They feel like, like, I don't know, like I'm out to get them or something. Which isn't the case, man. I'm a team player, you know what I'm saying? And, and they struggle with that. So what I'm saying is, it's like, Things seem, you know, things, you know, even though they're easier for me in a lot of aspects, some of the things are a little harder dealing with the younger generation and such, right? And uh, so I was working on this job at work, right? And uh, I work on the CNC machines. So I got this job, okay? And it's a new job. They don't have all the bugs worked out of it and all that so it's like i gotta get this job and figure out how to make it work right <laughs> so i'm doing this job and i'm enjoying it man it's it's really the material in itself is really tough it was just uh ink and L, but it was like annealed which it was this really nasty real nasty material right and I ended up, uh, I was, I blew up a couple tools, right? I was going in and trying to cut this thing with an end build. I was, I blew up a couple tools and I had to sit there and think about why is, why is the tool doing what it's doing, you know, and how do I fix it, right? So I knew what I had to do. I thought about it for a minute. I knew what I had to do, right? <laughs> 
and I fixed it, right? I fixed it. Okay, now that that's not even the funny part of the story. That's just my normal everyday routine of what I got to do. So, I had this moment, man. It was like, I find it humorous. I find it very humorous. It was like, some people, they say it's like a senior moment. My brain in my body, in my mouth, everything was detached from the situation. I was kind of in this flow of what I was doing. You know, I was just doing things like second nature and I fixed it and I made it happen. Well, my boss comes over, you know, my supervisor, he's a very smart guy. He's a machinist as well. And he, he asked me, he says, so what did you do to fix the problem? Right? And I told him, I said, uh, you know, I did, I, I just moved it down in the offset, right? And uh, I said, I just moved the offset down on one of the tools and left, left, left less pressure for the finishing tool and you know and I, <laughs> he looked at me because you can't do that i said and, and in my mind <laughs> okay in my mind okay this is this is the strange thing man it's like i was talking to him earlier that day and in my mind i swear that he told me to move the offset down right <laughs> So he says, you can't do that. And I said, well, you told me to do it, right? And he didn't even tell me to do it, right? <laughs> I said, well, you told me to do it, man. You know, that's what I did. I did what you said. He goes, I didn't, I didn't tell you to do that. I said, well, that's what I did. Then he just kind of like shook his head, man, and uh, just, just kind of walked away, you know? <laughs> He was kind of perplexed by the situation, right? And, and the funny thing is, is what I told him is not even what I did. Right? What I did was I got into the, in the computer of the machine and I changed the program so that it would accept the finishing pass. Right? <laughs> It, you know, what he was concerned about is, is if they, if we move the offset and then somebody resets the offset, well, if you're going back to square one, you're going to have the same problem, right? He's right. You're going to have the same problem. But I didn't even do that. And I told him, I said, yeah, man, you told me to do that. And that's what I did. And he didn't even tell me to do that. And that's not even what I actually did, man. <laughs> so I was sitting there, man, and it was like, it kind of aggravated me because in my mind, I thought that's what he said to do, right? And then I started thinking about it, man. And I was like, then I realized, I said, he didn't tell me to do that. And, I, and then I realized that's not even what I did. <laughs> and I started laughing. I said, what is wrong with me, man? I'm losing my fucking mind. So I was like, all right, I got to go. I got to go find the boss and tell him. So I went and told the boss. I said, hey, man, that's. I'm losing my mind. I told him that. So I said, I'm losing my mind. I said, that's not what I did. And yeah, you're right. You never told me to do that. I said, what I actually did was I altered the program so it works, right? He's like, yeah, that makes more sense. I said, yeah, that's what I did. I said, but I can't for the life of me figure out why I told you I did something that I didn't do. And honest to God, I did. I told him I did something that I actually didn't do, man. <laughs> I was just like, just kind of like, it was like, I guess some people would call it a senior moment, man. And I just found it, I laughed about that the rest of the day. I was like, what is wrong with your mind, man? Your mind, you're losing your freaking mind, man, you know? <laughs> so I was like, I, I'm, I'm on vacation, now I was thinking to myself, I'm on vacation next week. So I'll have time to relax and reflect you know and just let, let my body let my body you know because your body man you do need to rest every once in a while you do need rest get some relaxation get disconnected from work 
and stuff because then you you know if you do it you're too engaged sometimes you do silly things like that and i didn't even do it you know the thing is, is i did everything properly and then i said i didn't it was just like a trip man you know it's like i left i was gone man so i ended up ordering this this stuff man it's called prevagen <laughs> Right, man, I ordered some Prevagen. It's supposed to help your mind. It's like, I guess when you get old, your mind starts to go. It improves your memory, man. Right, man, so I ordered some Prevagen, right? <laughs> and it was like, I get, I, I've been getting to work and stuff, and I'm like, man, you know what? I forgot to take the pre I keep forgetting to take it, man. <laughs> it's like, it ain't working, man. I'm forgetting to even take it, man. It's like, I need to put this, like, somewhere. It's like, when I get at work, I, I see it, man. And I'm like, oh, there's my Prevagen. I need to take my Prevagen right now. <laughs> So, yeah. I just, I just found that story. Maybe it's not funny to you, but to me, I thought it was pretty funny, man. So, I'd like to talk a little bit about music. Kind of where I am right now, today, in my current state, my mental state of music. And, uh, you know, it's, I was listening to some things today, and it's like you turn the radio on and stuff, and it's like this stuff is not even appealing at all. All they keep talking about is hatred and division and stuff, and, you know... And it's been kind of nice because the Olympics has been on. And I've enjoyed watching the Olympics, man. It's like watching some competition where people are just running and throwing things and swimming and hitting balls and throwing things. You know, it's just, it's been nice, man. It's like I could turn the TV on and watch somebody run up and down the field and stuff. It's just, it's just been nice, man. It's like, this is what much better television than what we've been seeing, man. Even though that's like, at the opening ceremonies, it was like, France is just, it was like a total shit show at the opening ceremonies. It's like, man, why are you guys so fucking politicized with this shit, man? Just, can't we get together, man, and show some love and have a good time, man? It's just, everybody's trying to make a statement, man. It's like, look at us, look at us, man. Ooh, look at us. So, that being said, let us digress back to where I am in my music, right? You know, it's like, here lately, man, it's like the music that I want to listen to, man. It's not your, I don't want somebody singing to me. I don't want somebody trying to entertain me, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I love, I love the Beatles, man, but I don't want to hear the Beatles right now. I don't need to hear no poppy boppy you know, just, I love it, man. I love it, but I, I'm not in the mood for that, man. It's like, maybe it's where I am right now in the season, man. I've been kind of doing this painting thing, man, where I'm painting fishing lures, man, for whatever reason, man. I'm not even using them. I put them in these plastic things, and I've just been making and painting, like putting these things together, man. They got my... My signature on there, my name's on them, man. I've been making fishing lures, man. For whatever reason, man, I don't know. It's not like I'm selling them. I'm just enter entertained by the art of doing something different, man. And I get in the mood like that, man. It's like I have to be in the mood in order to do it. Or if, if I, it turns into like I'm making people fishing lures or I'm doing it, you know, when I'm selling them or something, to me, it's just, it loses, it's, I lose interest in it so fast, man. It's like, you know, it's like I would rather give them to, like, a friend or something, somebody that fishes. It's like, hey, man, here's a fishing lure, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but there's your fishing lure, you know. I took the time and, and sprayed it and dried it, and, you know, and clear-coated it. Man, it took me days to make. And I'm finding enjoyment, man. And my music taste has been the same, man. It's like my music, I've been in the mood for things that really don't make sense, man. 
I just want to hear some sounds. I want to be engulfed in art, man. I want to listen to some music that makes not a whole lot of sense. It's just somebody trying to do something, man. Like I'm doing, man. I'm just doing something, man. You know, just like at work, I'm doing something. I'm not even really focused on what I'm doing. I'm engaged and I'm doing it. I'm doing a good job. But don't ask me any questions about specifics because you may not even get the right fucking answer right now, man. Because that's where I am in my life. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to hear no Beatles, man, right now. I've been listening to a lot of Acid Mother's Temple, man. These guys, man, these guys are perfect for my season, man. You know, this is... Um, Electric Dream, Electric Dream Ecstasy, man. These guys are just doing something, man. They're not really starting anywhere. They're not really going anywhere. It's just happening, man. You know what I'm saying? They're just flowing with what's happening. And this is where I've been, man. I've been listening to stuff like this here recently. You know, a lot of people say, I don't like that. It's doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, that's exactly the point. You know, sometimes it doesn't have to have a really good color pattern, man. Sometimes it just has to be on the canvas. You know what I mean? Two colors, black and gold, man. Look what they're doing here. The music, man. These, this group does something, man, and it really has, really has touched me, man, here lately, man. You know, Tangerine Dream, man. It's like, what the fuck is happening, man? Electric Meditation, man. This is what I want to hear, man. I want to hear some some things that is just happening. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it, you don't like it. Maybe it's not. But you know what? It's where I am in my life right now, man. You know, The Sound of the Sitar by Ravi Shekhar, man. Just play the fucking thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Just get, sit down, shut the fuck up, and play, play this thing, man. I want to hear some noise. Make it make some noise for hours, man. You know what I'm saying? Just let it twang for hours. You know. You know, and of course, man. You know, you got the Middle Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom years from Brother Michael Christensen, man. This is perfect for where I am right now. Man, it's just, he's just doing something, man. He's just doing something. You're just floating along in a boat, man. You're not really, where the fuck are you going? Who cares where you're going, man? You're on the boat. You're floating. You're going somewhere. And it's beautiful, man. It's just beautiful. It may not even be the daytime. It might be at night. You know what I'm saying? That's where I am. That's where I am right now, man. And it's, it's, been, it's been really nice, man. For whatever reason, you know, the world has just got, maybe the world has just got too serious right now, man. Where people are just too focused on themselves, on, you know, having somebody fix all their problems, man. Maybe sometimes it's just like, you know what, I'll be engulfed in the fucking problems, but at least I'll have some, I'll have some beautiful colors, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have some beautiful colors. I'm going to have some beautiful sounds. That's where I am, man, and it's just weird, man, and it's like, it's like even the guys at work, man, they, they'll come over and start talking to me, man, <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's like when I talk to them, man, they think I'm going, getting deep in some spiritual conversation or something, man, but it's just like, you know what, man, why are you worried about money, man, why are you worried about this, and why are you worried about that, man? Just do what you got to do, man, and live a good life, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I would say to you guys, man. Listen to your music, man. Don't take it so serious. You know, how does it make you feel, man? Some of this music makes me feel so good, man. So relaxed. I listened to the Acid Mothers Temple today, man, for hours, man. I was listening to it and just engulfed it at work, man. I had it on, and I was just, I was getting paid at my work and I wasn't even there, man. <laughs> it was amazing, man. I even sent a, a song 
via email to Michael Christensen. We talk, you know, and uh, man, he he enjoys that kind of stuff too. Man. So y'all be good, man. Hopefully, I could remember to take my mental health medication prevention here. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, man. Brother Brian loves y'all.